moved down to Cornwall when I was about three years old. It was me and my three brothers and three sisters. It's a big family. Six, that's it. We were literally just beach rats. We were on the beach every single day, rain or shine. When I was at school, I was always just getting called like the little beach rat that would always turn up with wet hair, seaweed in her hair. Who cares? Surf rats are cool now. Tassie Surf Rats is a club I set up in the winter last year and it's basically me trying to get together as many young girls as I can in St Ives and sharing my knowledge of surfing. It's always perceived that surfing is such a male dominated sport and I think it's nice in such a small town of St Ives how we've already found 10 under 10 year olds who are all absolutely ripping and loving it and they're all girls as well as my older surf rats who are all just loving it as well. They might not even realise how rare it is to go into a beach break and find a group of girls in there. That's hopefully what Port is going to be unique for soon, it's just how many girls we've got coming up. When I got to about six or seven, my mum hooked me up with Shore Surf School just across the bay in Gadrivi. They trained me up until I was about 11 or 12, really. One of the biggest things I got from Surf Club when I was younger was that there was a lot of things I had to do on my own. It was that moment when you have to leave your parents in the car park after they've just dressed you and got your board out of the car and everything. And then it's completely up to you to do the rest. I do try and get the girls to work on doing it themselves, even though they're like six years old trying to drag their forward down the beach. There are some days when we go out and it can be quite scary. The other day we went out, it was super windy and really rippy. All the girls kind of were looking at me as if like, should we be scared about this? It's always just so important to keep a smile on your face. If they see that reassurance in you and they see you're completely fine about being out there and you're having a good time, then they relax a lot more and then a lot of the time they'll come up smiling even when they get hit down. We did a lot on like beach safety and if it was like that when they went out on their own, how they'd manage with it. Even though it wasn't the most ideal lesson in the world, they all got one really good way of each and they definitely got something from it. I think it's really important for all of the girls to be getting together. Not only are they getting better at surfing, but they're making new friends, as well as making friends who are older than them too. It's what St Ives is all about, really. It's just like a massive community. And if we can make little communities within that community, that's what I want to get out of surf rats, is that all the girls are looking out for each other. Not only in the water, but out as well. There's nothing to stop anyone from joining Surf Rats, whether you've surfed before or not surfed um, at all. Maya, I just want to see where you're at so I know how... how I think it's just really important for them to get into it before they get into that teenage phase of caring too much about what everyone else thinks, thinking that they're being judged and stuff. Throw it down and jump straight on. Okay. Start your paddling. Okay. Hopefully all Surf Rats go away from my sessions knowing that as long as they're having fun and having a good time, then they're looking good to everyone else. Not every single girl who's going to come is going to become a professional surfer. Like, it would be great if we did have a couple who wanted to carry on. But I just hope that they can all take something out of it, whether it's the confidence in and out of the water, or just looking at life in a different way. That's what I want to try and tell all of these guys. When I pull you into the wave... They are just like me. They can do anything they want to if they just put their mind to it. Woohoo! Shackers. My favourite thing about surf rats is just getting to know all the girls and it's just so nice how you can be like a positive role model to them. I think
think the biggest thing with surfing, if you want to pursue it as a career, is just the drive that you have to have. A lot of my drive comes from these kids. I go all over the world and I come back and still all these kids are rooting for me. And I don't know, it just feels kind of surreal because I don't know what I've done to deserve that. It just makes me really push myself to do better to make everyone proud.